Hey everybody. I am <clears throat> going to, we're trying a new camera setup today, but I'm going to just do in my art journal, do some recording and um, I've done a little bit in here, just some different pages. And today I just um, really need to do some stuff. And I'm going to prep my page uh, with some Mod Podge because I want to put down something. Okay, I haven't used this in a long time. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Wow. Ah, got it. I thought I was going to have to like turn off the video, which would have been kind of ridiculous if I had to do that. Anyway, um, hopefully I won't get any phone calls while I'm doing this and hopefully you can hear me because I'm going to be doing a lot of things. So my first thing that I like to do when I do one of these is put down, um, some of this stuff. Is this what I want? Not necessarily. And I got some other weird things here I'm going to try and use too. So I have Mod Podge, a uh, mat that will help with the magazine stuff I'm doing and I've got this glue and seal it's some kind of sealer but it's like really weird gel strange stuff <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that too anyway um, let's see I usually use a brush like this so here I've got some papers I usually like to put some stuff down too like um, so I'll just cut up a little bit that I can uh, glue down. And I usually end up covering some of this stuff over. But I just I just get some things and I just like kind of go crazy. And I want this chocolate thing as well. And I'm just going to leave that as is. And I'm going to put that here. I'm going to put this here. Um, actually, I don't want all of this. I just want part of it. And I want to use this. But this might go on top. And I want to use some of this um, netting stuff that I have. This was just like um, some apples or oranges, maybe oranges came in this um, net bag. And so I want to use this. And I'm just going to open it. I'm going to use it because it's going to give some texture. Um, I just find doing art journaling like this sometimes can be really therapeutic especially when you're going through something and so I'm going to do that I just um, it's really pinky red I just found out got a call last night that uh, my brother passed away he's 58 he was really sick. He had like heart condition, really like he was weak from that. And he had um, he was on kidney dialysis because he had kidney failure. I don't know why I did that color. And I'm just looking for some colors. Anyway, and he had um, had been diagnosed with bladder cancer in the past 
few weeks, not that long ago, and uh, he was going in yesterday to get to the hospital. His wife took him in to get the port for the chemo in, and basically his um, heart just, you know, gave out on him. And, um, so I'm taking a couple days off from work and I knew that painting would be like really therapeutic for me. So, um, I just decided to like, To paint. So this is what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, that was smart. It's just like get this down on here, kind of like a netting over this. Um, I'm gonna try and get it to stick with some uh, Mod Podge if I can. We'll see. It's gonna be so messy. But um, And I'm going to be putting stuff over this, so it, it's actually not a big deal. But anyway, I figured that doing something like this would be therapeutic for me. Um, it's just been a rough evening last night, and I didn't sleep well, and a rough morning. And... Uh, I decided I would just get my sadness out right here on and do some art journaling because I thought you know that's probably the best way to um, handle what's going on right now and just do that so that's what I'm doing and I'm going to stick this picture here because this kind of signifies how I feel. It says I love you, but it's just like this big splash of whatever. And this to represent like the light has gone out um, in my brother's life. And so that's what that is. And I'm just going to Get this down. There we go. Just mod podge that and get it stuck down. But I just want you to see the process that I go through to do this. And I am feeling very sad and like a lot of grief. You know, it's just, it's hard, I'm not gonna lie. This should dry clear, so I'm just trying to like, get it stuck down. All right. And I'm gonna be painting over all of this as well. Um, probably needs to dry a little bit. So. But I'm like, maybe this picture of these chocolates just like going all over kind of represents kind of my emotions right now and what I'm feeling. And um, so that's why it's in here. So I'm just doing different things down on here. I don't even know how this is gonna work with something like this. Might not even stick, but I'm gonna try. Cause we can 
see if it'll stick. Okay, Ugh, what a disastrous mess, eh? Um, I wonder, this stuff is supposedly glue, so let's see. And this is just like a, a <laughs> it's a mess, people, it's a mess. It's okay, though, because this is how it is sometimes. This is the weirdest stuff, I don't even know how to use it, but I'm just going to try and glue this down with this weird hunky stuff. I'm just going to shove it in there. Very strange. Yeah. So I'm not sure that's this is gonna work. Jeez. <laughs> Seriously. The mess. Probably helps me to do this. Cause then I'm just like okay. Now. Hmm. I'm like debating what do I do now because now I'm not sure. Um, let me see. I think I've got some paper. Parchment paper. I can artist paper. I can lay down on top of this and close the book and let it dry. That's what I'm gonna do. I know this looks really, really awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and I'm just going to take this. I'm gonna do this. Okay. I have no idea if this is even going to work, and um, is it going to work? Crap. Well. Okay. That is interesting. <laughs> Obviously, this was not the brightest of ideas. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, are you ready? Don't do something like I just did. All right, let me see if I can get this to stay down. trying to figure out how I'm going to turn my camera off on my phone, my video off, <laughs> because I've just made like a disaster, but it seems to have made this sort of stick. I'm going to use some glue under here. Okay, I am going to turn off the camera <laughs> and clean up, and then I will come back when this has dried, and hopefully I will have found a way to make that um, heart stick on there. So, yeah. Let me see if I can turn this off without getting gunk all over my camera. And, yes. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's dried sufficiently. Excuse me. <sighs> Alright. Try not to, like, sigh and such too much here. I'm trying to see if I have a color that I want. Why is it I have not bought the color black? Probably should. Okay, I just kind of gave up and used washi tape. Okay. And this is what I'm doing. You know, just feel kind of 
agitated and stuff, so sometimes it just helps to do stuff like this craziness. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of cover up some of this stuff. Actually, I do have black acrylic. I forgot I had acrylic paint in here, and I have black, which I'm really glad about because um, I want to use it. So I'll use that later. Um, I wanted to put this down, and then I forgot because I just, you know, made that today. Let me see if I can get it to stick. I don't know if it will. Oops. Oh, jeez. Just being, making a mess. Anyway, sometimes, you know, it helps to express grief, I think, through uh, the art medium. And it's really, it's been a bit of a rough... Um, time for me it seems like so much that's happened like my aunt died in November and she was elderly and you know it, it wasn't that as hard as you know somebody young dying or something but then in um oh, come on Then in December, one of my closest friends died from cancer, and she uh, was 60, almost 66. So yes, um, that was very difficult to have to go through that. Um, her dying like that, and very unexpected you know she too was at the hospital had just had her chemo and uh, was getting back in the car and she just became unresponsive and uh, they brought her back into the hospital and, and then she just died not too long after that and then now my brother with complications I think from the cancer but you know his heart in particular and um, at least I'm feeling a little bit less like weepy I guess you would say but I don't know this is yellow uh, this is acrylic and I just put it with um, some distilled water and mixed it up. I'm trying not to get this everywhere because I do tend to be a little messy with these acrylic paints. <laughs> but, all right, so there's that. Um, I'm going to put black. I'm just going to paint some areas with the black um, acrylic as well. I think I got enough paint over there. Um, yeah, it's just chaotic because I feel chaotic in my, in my heart. From all that has gone on and and I knew you know that I didn't know how long my brother was gonna make it because of his illness but still it doesn't make it any easier when something like this happens and it's just sad and hard so yeah okay so then I've just done some spraying um, I got some water pulled here and I don't really don't want that to pull there and I really don't want to cover up 
all of this rose. So I'm going to just scrape some of this off like this. This is just a baby wipe. Cause I want my rose to look prettier. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little drying. Just a little bit, um, just because uh, I can still work with it then. And like I said, I put the washi tape down to hold this because I am afraid it will not hold otherwise. And if I pull the washi, yep, it's not gonna hold. So we're just gonna leave washi tape there. So now, um, this is how I feel inside. And art is just a way of expressing your feelings. So this is expressing my feelings. I am going to do um, a couple of other things. Um, let's see, I'm going to do some black because I wanna leave um, some places to journal. So, that's the reason I'm gonna be doing what I'm doing right now. So that I can journal. Okay. Um, sometimes I've left white for journaling, but um, I'm going to do black this time. Because if I journal, um, it's going to be with a white gel pen. Sometimes you just end up covering things you put down, like I, that one thing I put down, I pretty much totally covered. And that's okay, because it's just, you know, a work as you go along, you decide how you want to do it, and that's what you do. So that's what I've done. So now the only other thing I want to do is um, dry this a little more, so excuse the noise. dries um that's really not bad it's actually 
pretty dry. Okay, so I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to take this and I'm going to do some um, paint, um, just some spots with the white um, paint. And just put it here and get another brush. Um, and that will complete what I'm doing. And then I'll just talk, oops, a little bit about more about this um, process that I was doing, okay? Put some here as well. Um, and just kind of go the same spots. Um, let's see if I can do this without making too much of a disaster. somewhere. The only other thing I'm going to do, I've got like a thousand paint brushes out. Um, I'm going to take one more acrylic color. And this is almost like a total contrast, but um, I'm going to take one more color. And I'm going to do um, a little bit of stuff with it. Try not to make a total disaster because, yeah, this gets a little bit messy. I am going to take a um, finer brush. And I'm going to take some pink. And I'm just going to add some pink around the black a little bit, okay? Just in some spots. some here. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit over here as well. I thought I was done, but I guess I'm not done. Okay. 
All right. And I just want to add some up here because I feel like I don't know. I just feel like it could use some pink. And All right, so yes, there it is. Um, yes, it's chaotic, and it's chaotic because that's how I feel inside. Um, and I just wanted to express that. Um, it's kind of like I have had enough with death for a few months, and I would like some time without it. And I am feeling all agitated inside, and I know that eventually I will feel at peace because I believe in God, and I know that God is going to give me peace. And so I know that will come. And right now, um, I just don't feel that way inside, and I feel very sad. And it helped to just be able to put those emotions out on paper. Honestly, I felt like just throwing paint on the page at angry jabs with my brushes. But um, this helped too. And yeah, it's kind of crazy, I know. But I'm going to do my journaling and then I'm going to come back and um, show you what I did. Okay. Um, thank you for watching this art journal process. I do really appreciate it. Bye. Okay. I just want to show you that it is done. The writing is done. It's all finished. And thank you for watching. I, I appreciate it. And, um, I know most of the time I post on channels and I'm really happy and at peace and everything is going great, but then there's times like these when it's not and just wanted to be real and post, you know, even during those times. But thank you very much. Bye.